All right, guys, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get every single achievement in PES 99. Super easy. When I say easy, but some ways to get them in a super fast way, which you can use these achievements for the brand new clan battle achievement battle, which rewards you with a huge Empyrean Axolotl if you get number one. Or if you get top three, a Doug Hoverboard and three exclusive eggs. If you at least get top 50, you get an Empyrean Trading Booth, which, you know, could probably sell for some gems or, you know, make your booth stand out a little bit more than others. So we're from the list, we're going to go from up to down, from the bottom of the list. So for the first one is obviously Pop 200 Balloongus. Honestly, this one, you have to be active in game. There's no possible way you can um, AFK this. But if you want to, you can go ahead, possibly go around the 99 areas that we have in the world or the game. So you just walk around or like hoverboard around the entire map and possibly find a balloon. I don't think you're going to find one around area 20 to 23 because those are underwater. But if the developers added that to the game, then I think you probably could find one. So yeah, that's pretty much the easiest one. You're going to find some balloons probably when you're AFK, like the best area because they pop they pop up out of nowhere. Like I don't really know how they get there, but they're there at some points. But yeah, so far we haven't found one and we can't really skip the, uh, what do you call it? the ocean area but yeah actually no we just did okay so i don't know but also for the next um achievement which i believe has to do with merch we're gonna skip it really quickly while we're here it is the merchant one so far i'm almost done with this so i'm almost at the merchant booth so yeah you have to basically get about i think if i do the math quickly probably like around three to four thousand uh merchant like purchases so right here we just bought a couple of travel merchant purchases but it goes for all the merchants in the game except for the uh, area 72 one which you have to sell it so the if you're wondering what those merchants are they're in area 19 it's the merchant area 39 which is the advanced merchant and area 54 which is the seed merchant which is basically like for the flower mini game honestly i just have a bunch of seeds and random items in my inventory just from buying all these stuff so like for example i have almost 500 plant seeds i have 500 coin plant seeds and I have um, about 34 plant seeds and stuff like that. You know, pretty cool or whatever. So next achievement we're going to go for is the breakables. If we want to break breakables fast, I would go for lower areas because they do uh, break faster than newer areas such as 99 or like any best area of the game so far. I would not AFK there for that quest as it is definitely going to be hard for you to break those breakables at a fast pace if, i know you want to do this pretty fast it's the point of this video not like over time but this is like you could do this immediately possibly like this area right here or something like we just broke a bunch of breakables right here we probably could do that quest or achievement in a day or so i'm not sure i wouldn't know because i broke i broke all my breakables within the bit area the best area of previously updates and that's why it took me forever to get it but yeah next one is break 150 big chests or like you know these right here you get uh chest breaker achievement which is worth about a hundred million diamonds so it's pretty rare that's how you know many people did not complete this yet so you probably could be one of the very few that have done it so far so if you didn't know the little areas right here show you where all the big chests are the like you know those big chests so the first one is going to be at area 20 which is the beach and it is that chest right there the little sand chest before you go into area 21 so this right here is a big chest so if you go ahead and break that and they all spawn in every 10 minutes so you can get about um i think six every few hours so if you do that there's only three big chests in the game so you get about 18 big chests every hour or so so if you do this on a daily you know just keep doing that and doing that then you probably could beat that in a week or so um i believe the next one is around the lava area yeah right here area 46 the underworld it has the big chest right here there's another one this one's pretty easy also i think you can break big chests within the mini game around here this is the chest rush. It goes about every two hours or so. You can go ahead and do this. And it's like four chests in there. So you're basically getting about, um, let's see, like 20 something about chests every hour. Or so if you do that. So yeah, let's go ahead. The next one is seven, the number 70, which is the jungle chest. So there's four. There's four big chests. I forgot having one was a big chest. But oh yeah, look at that. We have a balloon right there. I'm not going to pop it just yet because I don't really need it. But yeah, here is another big chest. This one, pretty easy to complete, you know. And of course, the next one is the brand, the brand new one, Heaven Gates, which is the Heaven Chest. So, yeah. Next one, break comets. You know, obviously, there is many ways to get comets. Like I said previously, you can get in the merchant, which I previously did just buy a few in the merchant, so you can go ahead and grind those. 
or if you want you know you like obviously you get these right here i have 400 of them or so you also can do the party box there's a chance or a very, a very small chance you get a random event of it being a comment there's multiple random events in the game so there's a rare chance that's a comment and i believe there is a little button you could press within the area that does allow you to make a comment shot which is area 44 and i think you could do this every day or so so it's only one day so if you just activate this go into a vip server and just go around from area 199 you could definitely get some comments i think that's about 99 because it spawns one in in every area so that's pretty nice that's one way to break that break 7500 mini chest the best is 20,000. so you can see i've done this a couple of times it's just grinding mini chest quests um within the rewards rank rewards or if you're just grinding overnight there's a high chance you're gonna get a uh, mini chest overnight also you would probably try and get the chest mimic um chest mimic um a chance that's what it's called right here or you could probably go and get some robux and buy the diamond chest mimic because it does spawn in a diamond a diamond mini chest so they both qualify as a mini chest so yeah but if you want to get some diamonds and you want a cheaper option i would go with a diamond chest mimic but if you don't really want diamonds i don't know why you wouldn't go for the more expensive one 68 million um chest mimic is definitely has risen in value over time but yeah next one is the break 250 pianos this is a very recent one along with the balloon and so far i have 96 out of 250 same reason for the comment i would definitely go ahead and get some party boxes because there's a high chance you can get a pinata and um a pinata event in your area so there's a high chance you also get some pinatas from doing rank rewards right here you know right here um reward number four for rank 16 you get a pinata or so there's a couple pinatas in here they're pretty rare to get but most easiest ways to get the um event to happen you can get them out of your gift bags any large gift bags there's a chance i think no longer you could do that but when the update first came out you could so yeah next one is fill 5000 uh quenders this is actually the best one and same thing for other one random events you can go ahead and get these party boxes it's also one of our random events in the game so yeah they also go for giant coin jars magic coin jars and obviously the basic coin jars. so there's many ways you can get some coin jars coin jars are obviously the easiest item to get in the game as you see i have over a thousand apparently people out there that have hundreds of thousands of them i don't know how but yeah also the enroll pets into your daycare this one is pretty easy it's a little costly though because you know it costs a little robux so let's go really quickly and show you guys what i mean you probably already know what i mean by where i'm going but we're gonna go to the index merchant and i'm pretty sure it's in the shop currently yeah right here we have a daycare slot voucher the max you can put in a daycare at a time i believe is 50 or 35 i don't know exact amount but i know it's around those numbers and you can press i think 10 is the max you can have with these and you can put them into your daycare so yeah and obviously there's the new game pass not really new but it came with the game but they updated it so now it has 25 plus pets only cost 600 robux it's the fastest way you can get that in there but if you just want to do with whatever you have free to play you know i would just keep on like daily i think it's every two hours or so if you stay in the game um actively you can uh put in how many pets you can at that time and obviously yeah next uh, achievement is the is it real one this one is the huge angel dog golden obviously you can get this one for free if you didn't now you go to any mini game you die and you press the home button immediately as you die you get into that area and this is what it gives you seven seven uh diamonds and if you go ahead and go up those stairs and possibly i don't know if you have any time for this go ahead and grind to that huge angel dog you could possibly get three stars out of that so it's pretty nice you know i wouldn't waste my time on it but i mean if you want to go ahead and get that free huge be my guest there's only two that exist in the entire game so yeah next one is the fish one obviously you can go ahead and afk if you didn't know i have an afk fish um tutorial on my channel so go ahead and click that you know it helps you afk fish this mainly can help you get some magic shards so being a magic shards, you're gonna see what i mean by that later on in the video so yeah place down 250 flags or any type of flag the max is 5,000. if you didn't know recently in our previous update we did get um, the ability to place multiple flags down in one area i'm gonna show you what i mean right now i think the max is 20 at a time let me see what is the ma mass amount of ma uh what do you call it flags i have um we'll place down 20 right here so place the max is 20 in an area so if you just go ahead and place 25 in an area that's two hours worth of flags you know every two hours or so you place down 25 flags you're fine you know or if you really have a lot of flags you want to waste go ahead and do 25 in every area i don't know why you want to do that but if you have a lot of money a lot of flags 
be my guest do that if you want obviously claiming free gifts you want to actively claim your free gifts every time they go ahead and you know pop up because they go away if you don't claim it in a certain amount of time so you want to get these in eight hours or so they come back so i'll be able to go ahead and claim those 12 over again and over time you get some um large free gift bags or whatever so yeah same thing with the um the flags right here you're gonna want to hoe ahead and daily use your fruits okay so obviously i have a lot of fruits i'm not really you know like committed to this quest right here or this achievement so all you gotta do is just eat 20 of every fruit that you have especially rainbow fruit because those count as fruit as well also i wouldn't waste your fruit in the fruit machine i believe in one of those areas because it just wastes your fruit and you can you know use that instead of actually having to use rainbow fruit because it does the exact same thing as a regular fruit so yeah and you have some active boost i think it lasts for two hours as well because each fruit lasts five out not five minutes and there's 20 of them so not even it's like an hour and a half or so so yeah they last for an hour and a half so that's pretty nice create 800 pets or uh 4, pets in a fuse machine now this one i want to talk about a lot because it is pretty grindy and annoying to grind this because it's 4,800 pets that is going to take forever but the easiest method is to go ahead and get rainbow of like the weakest pet i would say about an egg seven or so if you go to egg seven you get as many pets as you can rainbow from that egg because any egg before that you can't you know like fusing because they're too low of a power so i would go to egg seven you get some rainbows of these pets and you come back over to area 28 and you fuse three pets every time so that you can save your pets and you don't have to keep on hatching for a lot so if i go for example i just use three I already have some already so we just use three. Oh my god i can't get three at all wow but if i get three that's the minimum you have to do and i get three that's easy light work you know you do that and then whatever pet you get from fusing that you could just use that after that so you don't have to keep on using these for example rainbow bees and stuff like that so if you go here my items i have actually um i don't know what boxes i have a lot of pets in that egg to fuse and stuff like that so i'm definitely focused on the uh fusing machine right here because i want that board so yeah Next one is gold 7,500 pets. It's pretty explainable, you know, get 7,500 pets, you know, make them into gold or whatever, you know. It's an easy quest. There's not much to it. You can use the pets you get from the gold and rainbow machine in the fuse machine quest or whatever in that, and you can use that, and boom, gold 7,500 pets, you get the gold booth, and yeah. Uh, next one is the re a very recent one as well. It is the magic one. I already completed one, which was the magic machine 100 times, and basically I would AFK uh overnight in the fishing area and i got some magic shards and i would use them on to the uh i think it's called the charm stones or whatever and i was able to complete this so if i do that 350 times again which is five five i think it's like three thousand or something like that i don't know the exact math off the top of my head so you wanted to do the math do that for me but yeah i have over a hundred charm stones just from that one quest so yeah next one is read the 20 merch codes pretty explainable i also have a video on this as well i have on um, the cheapest method to get it it's only 150 dollars i know that seems like a lot but it's really not compared to how many of these duper how much money other people spend on that uh achievement so yeah that's pretty much how i got mines right here i have it right here it was worth 20 million before but now it's worth i don't know how much let's see it's worth 18 minutes so it's going back up in value that's pretty nice um, next one is pretty explanatory. I said it earlier, you know, uh, the merchant, you know, just go ahead and do that. This one is also pretty much explainable. Um, just go ahead and AFK eggs as much as you can. The max you have to get to, I think, is like a million combined. No, it's way more than a million. It's probably like 1.2 million combined here. But you get a huge hunter. It's only 4 million diamonds. Probably sell it if you want to, but it does help you with getting huges. And, you know, it's pretty nice. You know, obviously, you're going to go ahead. Next achievement is the collect orbs. The max one is 50 million orbs. And recently, I did actually complete this. So, that's nice. Um, All you really have to do is just, you know, collect orbs. You know, you're grinding AFK. You have a lot of orbs in the area. You're going to have a lot of magnet flags as well. Because magnet flags are going to help you collect them pretty fast. I would also, if you have it on, turn off this right here. Because it does reduce the amount of orbs you have in that area. And it's going to help you if you have that on. Uh, not on off actually not on you don't want it on you know okay yeah so next quest is the rainbow one and you know obviously pretty explainable uh it's pretty explainable you're gonna have six thousand gold pets that you got from that last quest and you're gonna use these now to go ahead and rainbow six thousand pets and with that you can get a rainbow booth you know it looks pretty nice put that in a training plaza make your booth stand out a little bit more and yeah next one is the shiny one and obviously as many people know there is some shiny relics across the map i don't know where one at right here is like around i don't know any of them that are here right now 
but there are shiny relics around the map i'm pretty sure other youtubers have videos on where they are because every up there so they add like a lot more because there's new areas and with those shiny relics they can help you get some shiny pets and yeah also if you want to go in the merchant like the trading plaza get a bunch of these shiny hunter um what do you call these enchants and you can have a higher chance of getting a shiny pet it has a 60 percent extra and you can complete this i don't know it helps you with a little bit more stars and yeah upgrade 5,000 enchants is pretty explainable you know you go to area 16 this is where you upgrade all your enchants also this enchant thing can up with your rewards and stuff like that for ranks so yeah so if you have any of these like little um enchant bugs right here these all count like i'm literally upgrading 135 it doesn't count as this 27 it counts as the 135 that i'm upgrading right here so if, for example if i were to do this i would immediately beat like the enchant or the achievement well not really because i would need like five times of that but i would beat the enchant or the achievement enchant and i would get this super lightning superior enchant which is 840,000 diamonds so yeah you know it's pretty nice same thing goes for potions i would have to go ahead and upgrade 7,500 individual potions into a brand new potion which get me a 10 cocktails and those combined equal 2 million so that's pretty nice and the previous not the previous the last one is go ahead and buy 300 items in the burning machine and the best one being 8,000 items in the burning machine and you get a 6 million diamond valued doodle hoverboard which you know looks pretty nice it's like the one in pestler x and you know it's pretty explanatory same thing goes to the merchant if you go look at these um little icons right here there's one about there's about 10 i don't know i'm not gonna count all single one of these there's like there's about 10 vending machines you go to all those daily that's basically 10 vending machines but there's also different items so i think it's like four per vending machine so you're getting 40 items from the vending machine every day i don't really go to vending machines because they don't really give as much good items as the merchant does but you know they're pretty helpful i guess at some point for free to play players or like new players but if this video did help you out i know i went into a lot of detail this video was very long but it is to help you guys win that team in battle or if you just wanted to go ahead and complete your achievements then this also helps as well but it mainly does help those trying to win that slam battle the achievement battle and get that huge imperium axolotl so yeah if this video did help make sure to go ahead and leave a like subscribe and comment down below any more ideas or anything you need help on in pest 99 but anyways guys